We can see, hi Corbin. Back to our stupid Rex and I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. And uh, thank you for on Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account. Follow us on official 2.0 channel as well. Thank you so much. That's true. I'm glad that Ashley moved to the new location too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really kind of you. Thanks, Ash. Uh, but uh, today, uh, something you've been asking for since the inception, the inception of, of the channel. This is right now, as it stands, the longest. No. The second longest from request to reaction we've ever had. Oh, yeah? I think I know there's one that's probably longer. What? Mana Karnica. How many? Oh, no. People don't... I, I mean, this has been more requested for oh, us to watch. This has been more requested, for sure. Yeah, but I mean, that was one of our first reactions. One of the first reactions. But, but yeah, this has, has been... Mixed reviews. This, this, I think the minute we reacted to Gully Boy, this was one of the first films that people said you should react to. And we, we do get to them. Yes, we do. Very slowly, but we do. Also, the move has made it so our, our watching movies yes. will slow down. And hopefully, and, it's picking back up. And we also had said, we've got to get to this. Let's wait, and we'll do this Halloween. closer to Halloween so. time. So We finally did it. We did it. Go us. Came out last year. Too bad. Want to read the synopsis for me? Okay? I do. A mythological story about a goddess who created the entire universe. The plot revolves around the consequences when humans build a temple for her firstborn. Pretty accurate. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and uh, it's directed by... Rahi Anil Barve, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And a writer, producer, director, Anand Gandhi. Uh, uh, so there's two directors on this. I don't know yeah. what that means. Uh, nobody I recognized... Uh, when watching it, did you? No. Yeah. Not at all. But it's uh, starring, I believe, uh, I'm trying to find the main guy. I think that's him. Sohum Shah? Yeah, I think that's the main guy. I could be wrong. But, yes. Uh, oh, and I realized there's two things I wrote down as notes. I remembered one of them, but there's a second one I want off my phone here. So, let me grab this. Okay, we're good. I'm just going to find exactly the two things I wrote down. I'm going to wait for you to find it so I can cut out to that point. There it is. Okay. Uh, yes, so this is a movie that we waited to watch. One, because it looked scary to us. Yeah, which I remember we were going to watch it. And you started to watch it. Did. And because Corbin knows me, he sent me a message that said, you're not going to want to watch this. It's just not your cup of tea for your kind of film. I watched about the first 10 minutes right. a few months back. Uh, and, uh, so, sorry, we could have had it a while ago. We could have, but I'm glad we waited. Yeah. And, uh, yes, I, there's the two things, I've said this before on the channel, the two things I don't like on films is, my least favorite genre is horror, because for the most part, many horror films are made brainlessly, mm -hmm. and it's the easiest of the genres to do. It doesn't require a lot of talent to scare somebody any more than it requires a lot of talent to fart and make people laugh. But, the, um... Uh, I don't mind horror and scary. In fact, I do like horror and scary as long as it doesn't go into the glorification of the demonic. That for me is the category is I can pull it off to the side and I also don't like outright porn in my movies. So mm -hmm. I think you thought that maybe this fell into that category for me. Well, because at uh, the first 10 minutes, it's very yeah. different than the rest of the film. It is. And so it kind of changed a little bit. So sorry about that. <laughs> no, but I'm glad we, I think this is the right time for us to see it. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the... I actually really, really enjoyed this film. I, I, I actually I, did too. It, yeah. You know what it reminds me of? What? Uh, Guillermo probably really likes this film. Yeah, I'd be interested to see if you it's saw... A, it reminds me a lot of a Guillermo del Toro film. Yeah, uh, it, it has a little bit of differences. It tends to be... Obviously, there's a lot of mythological stuff, if that's the right word for Indian... Right. Oh, well, mythology. Which is, I promise you, even with that... Oh, by the way, spoiler review... Uh, if you haven't seen this, which most of you probably have, but if you haven't, I go see it because we're about to just talk about yeah. everything in it. Uh, even though it starts off with that story, which was helpful, telling us about the origin of everything going on, there's still a ton of this, I know, just like with Knots and Rot. There was some stuff mythologically and culturally and everything else that was just yeah huh. way, way above our heads. Yeah, it was mostly a story about the, the, the curse of this family and the greed that they that they have it's really much just about the greed like the opening line from gandhi yeah is basically there's a, i think it was something along the lines of there's enough 
for everybody in the world, there's not enough for everybody's greed. Correct. I think was, and I, and it, I really had an aha moment at the very, very end mm. because as I'm, as I want, I want to understand. That's one of the biggest things for me in any situation is I really want to understand something. So I found myself struggling so hard to try to understand stuff that I'm not going to understand right now. Same thing with not so not. I just, I need to learn more about the culture. I need to learn more about the mythology. And it was at the very, very end, I went, oh, got it. Uh, so before we get to the end, uh, ultimately, I would say you agree that this is a, if you fill in the blank, do see it, don't see it. I would say this is a do see it. Oh, 100% see yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely yeah, do see it. 100% see it. It's very, 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 Liked very it a lot. Uh, the difference is between the Guillermo, uh, that's the closest thing I can compare it to. Uh, it, it, his is a little more monster empathetic. Correct. Because uh, he loves that. He loves just, monsters. He loves monsters. Yeah. But this did have the monster aspect to it, but that's just not the story it was given. Correct. It was more about the, uh, this was a mythological type. And unlike God, anything we've seen. God, something like that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Unlike yeah. anything we've seen. Very unique, very original, which is why I think a lot of people were wanting it for the Oscars. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not going to get into that, but I think the Gully Boy has a better chance of getting the nominations in this episode. Yeah, Even if this had a ton of like artisticness and it was really original, but uh, I, we still stand with that. Um, but I, I really loved the, uh, one, the acting was just brilliant. Yeah, the across the board. board. The opening I thought was fantastic. Yeah. Really well set up of, well, they're feeding this woman? That's not a woman in there. And it's, it's a, just, it's a yeah, and it's just her and the kids. And then the kids are having to do it alone. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really... It was really interesting because it opened with her giving basically... Pleasuring him, basically. Yeah. Right? The uh, guy. And she was like, what is this? What is going on? Yeah. Uh, and, so, and so then a bunch of stuff obviously happened. And then uh, you got to see the monster, essentially. And great script writing in the beginning. Whereas many times we've been upset with the laziness of script writing. Because at the outset, they just tell us what's going on. Tell us the relationships. They didn't do that in this. Like, like you figure it out. You had to figure it out. You didn't. You you thought okay, they're related in some way, and that's clearly they're related in some way, and you you didn't get to be yeah. told that. The colors that. in this were brilliant. Uh, it obviously different from like a Sanjay. Uh, very different no, color. Very different. like deep, like almost like um, I don't know the word for it. It's Guillermo's style, but yeah. like Tim Burtonish style in terms of dark beauty. Correct. Right. Correct. Uh, I, that's no other way. Yeah, that was it. one of the other things that didn't pull it into the level of being more horrific for me. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't feel like it was trying to be horrific. It felt like it was trying to be scary. Yeah. And it. It. it even there were some shots with the lighting. I felt like the director <clears throat> and the production design team all together, they were really trying to make something beautiful. Yeah. You know. And oh, it, it wasn't. And it wasn't Sanjay kind of beauty. He no. has his own aesthetic. This yeah. was its own aesthetic that I thought matched the the, the content. Yeah, I thought it was a hundred percent. And the majority of the visual effects and makeup were great and practical. Which, very, which very. I good. love. Yeah, uh, I love it when you do because to do a story like this that has to do with some mythological monster, uh, you have to. It, even though, like, you could like, oh, I can make them really cool looking with CGI. It never comes across as believable, like practical does. No, like there were some moments when there's Unless the you have bunch a huge budget. Yeah, there was the moment towards the end where the, the dad and the son are in there, and there's multiples of them bouncing off the walls. I could see the CGI. It reminded me of like the initial CGI creations of Gollum in the first Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Where you go back and look at it now, and you're like, oh yeah, I see the CGI. Yeah. But nothing. So it wasn't anything that pulled me out of the story. No. Um, and that was such a unique thing that they did this whole story of because I was like so there's a treasure yeah down, and I'm sure this is a story like a lot of Indians know like it's right. a common mythological story that, but we had no idea what it was so I was trying to figure yeah. out so there's a treasure at the bottom of the well it's mm -hmm. cursed treasure like Pirates of the Caribbean right like what what's going on here but like you like so it's like a full on not Greek, I know it is, but that's the only thing I can equate it to. Like Greek mythology, yeah. Like there's this god or demon that you have to steal the coins from, and right. so it was it was really unique in that aspect, and so really interesting. Yeah, that you had to go down there each time. Yeah, and you had to give them a bread that was in the shape of a child. Right. Uh, <laughs> so it was really unique, and I watched it with my wife. She was like, I really really enjoyed it. Uh, she was like, it was so sad to me, um, and which is. Something that you know, uh, she she takes away. She has a really unique aspect to film. Uh, she sees the that house. Like that's not what I took away from it. That it was sad. 
uh, but she took away from the family aspect. Like this family has been ruined by their yeah um, greed. Uh, greed. Yes, yeah, so that the, is the, the curse or the greed. Those of were the, the of the family at the very very end when the dad is uh, b burnt up and going to be dying. That's when I had the aha moment, and the two aha moments I had was uh, these these phrases. Greed will consume you. That's the moral to the story. Greed, literally, that's what happened to him. And that's what was happening to, I forget what they're called, but remember when he had them go up and fall and they just, <sighs> into dust? Uh, and, and their appetite for what they were going after was also just pure greed. So everything that was motivated, motivated by greed, every being that was motivated by greed, whether you were a tree in the ground or the bread-eating demons or the, if that's what they were, I don't know what they were, or the, the humans, greed will consume you. And the other thing was the, the, the phrase, all that glitters isn't gold. The, the whole idea of the things that you truly value. But it took a while for me to get there. You probably got there a lot sooner than I did. Because I was trying so hard to remember everything of the mythology and just had to give up at one point because I thought, like wow. with knots and rock, I'm like, I'm not going to try. Well, I, I was never trying to understand it. Yeah, I was like, always I, fighting to understand. No, I was just like, <laughs> you're going to tell me what I need to know because you're a film. Right. And so that's your job. Right. Uh, and if you do your job correctly, I shouldn't need a lot of background information. Yeah. Uh, for the most part. For the most part. Um, Except for the cultural underpinnings. Like, for example, here in America, if you see certain films that are American centric in terms of our storytelling, which is. If it's not American, it comes from Greco-Roman era. It's all westernized. Uh, there's not a lot you would have to do. We could easily pick up on the symbolisms of things that were from... Oh, yeah. No, I'm not I'm talking about that. History. I'm not talking about culture. Yeah. Is that, I, I'm... I kind of gave up on that a while ago with watching Indian cinema. I'm like, I don't get a lot of this. Yeah. It's just something I have to accept and we're going to learn it. Right, right, right. But I'm talking about the, the film. It has to give you the information regardless of if... Right, culture irrespective. Is, yeah. I, to get your story, I need to be told certain things in order mm -hmm. to get it. And yeah. they told me that at, at the, through, through the whole thing. Yeah. And so I didn't feel like I was, I, I didn't try to, I was like, I'm not going to understand the Greek. Right, right, not, right. We know it's no. not Greek mythology. No, Sorry. Well, I'm understanding we the Eastern, that. right. Uh, whatever mythology it was, I was like, you're going to tell me what I'm going to need to know. And they did. They did a phenomenal job at it. I thought the directors, I don't know which. Yeah, there were two one, directors that are credited for was, this. But in terms of the, the storyline, the acting, the uh, the originality, and the coloring, and, and the, the coloring was really nice. And I I, I, I would did, have liked to have seen this on a big screen. Yeah, I did enjoy the score, even though it was very subtle most mm -hmm. of the time. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, I feel because I didn't notice it a lot. No. And this didn't. I don't think required enough. There was enough on the screen to kind of just like what. But yeah. it, it built it enough to give, give that suspense at certain times when you need that suspense of yeah. what's going to happen, who's in the room. Like the mo One of the most suspenseful parts is the beginning when you're trying to figure out what this hag is in the, uh, in the other room. Yeah, all the way up, the very start of it, all the way up to when she has to leave because the son, that really great moment, he says, uh, you shouldn't have done that because now something bad's going to happen. And he falls out of the tree. And then she's taking him and he's left there alone with the hag and he has to go feed the hag. All of that was, I'm trying to remember what it reminded me of, but it was, it's just top notch storytelling. Yeah. Top notch dragging out and immediate, I mean, as she's driving away, you're thinking to yourself, this little guy is going to have to stay here at night and feed that hag back there. And I was, I was relishing the creepiness of that. Yeah. Like, I can't wait till he's going down the hall and I know they're going to creep me out. Yeah. And there were a couple of moments that got so, uh, in your face, gory, like when she's on top of him and pulls the nails out of his face oh, and it's yeah. dripping all over him. I literally watched it and I'm like, dang, yeah. you're going all out right now. Yeah, uh, it was very uh, reminiscent of Guillermo's Pan's Labyrinth yeah. in terms of um, like a lot of people really love, I don't know how long ago you watched that movie. Oh, it's been a, I, when it came out. Yeah. That's how long it's been since I've seen Pan's one, That's one of my wife's favorite films. Um, Guillermo's one of her favorite directors, but, uh, <laughs> the, it's actually quite gory. Mm -hmm. If you remember. Yeah. For being such a, like it's, it's, it's a really sweet story, but it's also, it gets, it gets very uncomfortable, dark and uncomfortable. And so that's well, the, the thing I, I'm not saying I'm not comparing it to the film. I know. No, I like no. to think I am, 
but that's just what I, I have to This is what it something. closest reminds us to in our own experience. It's nothing like it. At nothing all. at all. But th this is the closest comparison we have. Uh, but I know you hate it when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> but well, yeah. the movie it doesn't remind me of? 300. <laughs> no, it doesn't remind me Not at all. all. <laughs> or Fast and Furious. <laughs> or Mission Impossible. No. <laughs> no. But yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. Uh, it, I think like if you give it a second watch as well, you, you'd pick up on a lot more. You sure would. Uh, and obviously, this is, you guys. This would be a fun one to watch with, with people who haven't seen it, just to watch them respond. Like, I'd love to watch this with Ax Ashley, Alexis, and Micah. Micah would be like this the whole time. <laughs> Ashley and Alexis, especially Ashley. Ashley would be like, oh yeah. Yeah, that's like that's she pulls like oh, oh yeah 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 I would just love to sit because you know what's coming and they're, yeah doing this yeah so uh, really really fun I would love to learn more like apparently this is also from uh, uh, other written works by uh, I believe it's uh, Narian Darab that the script comes from the writings of Narian Darab. I would really like at some point to be able to dive into some of this and understand a bit more of the original story behind this, the mythology, the fantasy, whatever that is, and then, then do another comparison of how well, and I'd love to hear from you guys, I think you're all gonna say they did a great job because all we've gotten over and over again is please, when are you gonna react to Tumbad? When are you gonna react to Tumbad? When are you gonna react to Tumbad? And how does this work translating stuff from this uh, a written work onto screen. This uh, uh, cinematographer. Yeah, was the cinematographer header. Well, no wonder it looks so good. Yeah, and uh, he works uh, probably a lot with uh, Vishal, mm. which right. Vishal knows how to use deep, rich color. Absolutely, and maybe that's why he maybe Vishal uses them a lot. And yeah. um, this cinematographer is ridiculously good at that. Yeah, that's. That like the entire time, it's just it's one of those things. It's, it's just beautiful mm -hmm. in, a, in a different way than we say beautiful in Sanjay's and, and other things. Right, like that. right. It's a, a dark beauty. It's the only thing. Yeah, I put it and to. the predominant color spectrum for this was really great uses of red. Really, mm -hmm. really great uses of red and it gold. It was such a when, in, when they're going down into basically the mother's womb. Is right, basically where they're going. Right. It was really unique how they did it. So they were climbing down, but it looked like they were, they were climbing, climbing up. Up, right, until they flipped the camera over and they did that every time to like, you're in a different world now. Different basically. realm, right, yeah. exactly. So it was really unique and uh, I loved that as it was really seamless, the uh, crane work, I'm betting that it was. A uh, as was the symbolism of the consumption that takes place, like the consuming nature of the greed, which begins with the hag. Mm -hmm. who's, who is, first of all, bound in chains, but then when he comes back later, she's actually become part of the ground, and he has that laughing fit, which is so macabre and yeah. twisted. That was it's a great like, moment. Oh, Grandma, you've, be you've become one with a tree, and the tree has grown through her, and the agony of the being alone and having the thing consume you, and then his buddy who becomes part of the womb in there and slowly becomes uh, just eaten by it. It's just the symbolism, and I'm sure we're missing a lot of it, was really, really good. Yeah, that yeah. was really great. Uh, thank you for your patience. Great and, Halloween uh, movie. And, uh, oh yeah, it really is, yeah. Yeah, I, and they said they don't have a lot of those over in India. Yeah, because Halloween's not really celebrated. Yeah, it is, but not, yeah, not, not, not the like the other holidays. No, in fact, they want, they want to know, that's one of the holidays that were repeated the gut stupid baby saying, would you please do something and tell us more about what you guys do there on these holidays, like Halloween and Thanksgiving. They're not as familiar with that as they are, for example, Christmas. Many, many people celebrate Christmas over there, but Halloween, Thanksgiving, those Halloween are the ones. Halloween is a pagan holiday, Halloween. you celebrate Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween's a big one here. Yeah. Big one. Uh, but yeah, that's that was great. Thank yeah. you so much for the recommendation. And thank you for your patience, everybody. I know we're gonna get these comments of, oh, I can die now. <laughs> and I'd give it I'd give it an A plus, honestly. It, it, through and through, it was an amazing film. There was not really, there wasn't a weak actor, there wasn't a, a weak uh, script, part of the script. I, I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, w I wouldn't give it an A plus simply because for me, A plus films are the ones that I would put on my list of, I never wanna not see. You know, I've got to recommend that. The Schindler's List is an A plus for me. Braveheart's an A plus for me. I would give this a A minus, mm. which means I still liked it and I still would watch it and I still would recommend it. But I, I, I wouldn't. It's not a perfect movie to me. 
Oh. Well, first of all, it's it's not a universal movie in that I got lost in the storytelling and the mythology and the background and the culture. So as an audience member, I couldn't become fully immersed in it to that extent. So it's not universal immersion that can take place in it. Hmm. And then secondarily, there were just some pacing things, probably because of me trying to figure those things out, where it felt slow at times for me, where I was oftentimes with the movies I love the most, I'm not even aware of the pacing of the film. So because I was aware of the pacing, and as good as the acting was, there wasn't anything Oscar level in this for me. No, it was it, very solid, very believable, I very much enjoyed it, but it wasn't anything. Oh, I, I, was, I was never looking for anything Oscar worthy, I was just looking for- No, a, neither was a, I. A really good performance. I think you get in your head a lot. I do, <laughs> admittedly. I do, but for me, I don't, for me, an A plus rating for something is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, I don't think it needs to be that. Like, no, that's just for me. Yeah, no, I don't. I like. And there's much movies I would probably never watch again, but I think it's an A plus film. Really? Yeah. Oh, you, I, I don't have to watch a film over and over. There's certain films that I think are C pluses, but I watch them over and over. Oh, and that's over. true. Yeah, there's it, that. The oh, watch movies I know that are D's over. that I watch over and over. Oh, yeah, again. there's. <laughs> Films I would no, never I watch again, but yeah, yeah, let us know uh, what other films we should watch and review next down in the comment section below. Let's see if it's scary because it's Halloween week. <laughs>